Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve the problem that we have faced in the previous video. As uh, we are going, as we had used a simple LDR in the previous video, by changing the intensity on the LDR, the value that is displayed on the serial monitor of an Arduino ID is not changes by changing the intensity of light on the LDR. So in this video, we are going to solve the problem by adding one more element that is a variable resistor. If you don't know what is a variable resistor, then in the description board, I have described about it. And there is also a video about variable resistor. The link of the video is given in the description book. So look into it. As we need to add one variable resistor in the circuit, so we have to make a junction. That's why we need a breadboard. So this is the breadboard. If you don't know how to make a circuit on the breadboard then there is a link of the video in which I have explained how we can use a breadboard you can look into it so this is the breadboard I have to place my LDR uh, one terminal in this hole and another terminal in this hole and now I have to take one male to male wire and put the male to male wire in one of the hole of the LDR and the other uh, male to male wire should be here Now, one of the LDR terminals should be connected with 3.3 volt of an Arduino board and uh, other terminal is at the analog input pane which is A5. And this is the variable resistor. I've soldered the three male to male wire into it uh, because uh, of loose connections. That's why I've soldered all the wires here. I have to take the two terminal which is leftmost terminal of a uh, variable resistor and the middle terminal of the variable resistor. I have to put one terminal to the wire which is going to the analog input pane and other terminal of the variable resistor should be in the ground pin of an Arduino. So this is the connection of a variable resistor with an LDR to solve the problem of debouncing that is happening in the previous video. By this circuit, you can easily use your simple LDR. I have completed this circuit connection. Now I have to connect my Arduino board to PC. So let's connect it. As I connected my Arduino board with PC then I have to open the program that I have saved earlier so let's open it and then verify it and then upload it now we are going to read the data that is printed on the serial monitor by changing the intensity of light on the LDR 
So as I change the intensity of light on the LDR, then the data printed on the serial monitor of an Arduino IDE is, is very different. So in this In this video, we have solved the problem that we faced in the earlier video of a simple LDR connection with an Arduino. So in the next video, I will show the application of LDR by connecting an LED and by changing the environment, that is the intensity of light, the LED will be on or off. So thank you for watching my videos.